Bruchem Aboyim. Thank you very much for coming. The, uh, again, we are in the uh, Gematria series. We are up to today. We're going to hand, we're, again, we're going to do two uh, numbers, 35 and 36. Um, let me begin. Again, thank you for coming. The number 35 in Ivrit in Hebrew is Lamed He. It spells the word law, which means to her. Our relationship with God Almighty is many times compared to the relationship of a husband and a wife. The giving of the Torah at Mount Sinai is compared to the ceremony of a bride and a groom, with God taking the children of Israel as his beloved bride. Now the word law to her is an illusion of how a husband should treat his wife. In Mishle it states, Isha teret bala, that a woman is the crown of her husband. Also in the Talmud, in Barachot 24a, it states, Ishto kagufo dummy, that a man's wife is like his body, that a husband has a responsibility to take care of his wife. Now, the number 35 is found five times in the Torah. The 35th time the name Abram is found in the Torah is in the book of Bereshit in the portion of Lech Lecha, 1423. After Abram defeated the four kings, and he told the king of Sodom that he would not take a thread or a shoelace from him as a reward for saving his people. The 35th time, 35th time the name Avraham is found in the Torah is in the book of Bereshit in the portion of Vayera, 21.3, where it states that Avram gave the name Yitzchak to the son that he had. The 35th time that the name Yitzchak is found in the Torah is in the book of Bereshit in the portion of Toldot, 26.8, where Avimelech, the king of the Philistines, of the Pelishtim, looked out his window and saw Yitzchak enjoying himself with his wife, Rivka. The 35th time the name Yaakov is found in the Torah is in the book of Bereshit in the portion of Ayetze, 29.4, where Yaakov first comes to Padam Aram, to Lovan's house, and encounters some shepherds at the well. The 35th time the name Yehoshua is mentioned in the Torah is in the book of Yehoshua, 3 5, where it states Yeshua instructed the people, purify yourselves for tomorrow. God will perform wonders in your midst. Now, in the book of Bamidbor, in the portion of Pinchas, the Torah discusses the 70 oxen that were brought as sacrifices on the holiday of Sukkot. The 70 oxen were brought on the seven days of the holiday. They brought 13 oxen on the first day and one less on each successive day equaling 70 oxen for the seven days. The question is asked as to why the Torah uses the term Seir Izim, he goat, on three days, while on the other four days it just uses the term Seir, which is a he goat. Now according to Kabbalah, Yishmael is referred to as a Seir Izim, while Esav is called a Seir. Now according to the Zohar, both of them are the major powers in the world. And the 70 original nations of the world are connected to the two of them. When looking at the verses that relate to the 70 oxen, we see that on days 1, 2, and 4, the Torah uses the term Seir Izim, which connects to Yishmael. And on the first day, there were 13 oxen sacrificed. On the second day, 12 oxen sacrificed. And on the fourth day, 10. Altogether, 35. On day three, five, six, and seven, where only this, the word seir is used, there were 11 uh, oxen, nine, eight, and seven sacrificed. Again, the number 35. We are told by God Almighty to show respect to both of them equally. There are 24 written books, holy books, known as Tanakh, which is an acronym for Torah, Nevi'im, and Kesuvim. The five books, there are then the five books of the Torah, that's the Torah, the eight books of the prophets, Nevi'im, and the eleven books of the writings, which are called the Kesuvim. However, there is one book of the writing that is called Tre Asar, which translates to mean twelve, since it incorporates within that one book about the twelve prophets. So there are those who refer to the twenty-two books of the writings instead of eleven, which then total 35 altogether, 22 plus 13, again, 35. Now, the number 35 can be broken down into a 3 and a 5, 
which in Hebrew is a gimel and a hey. These two letters are an acronym for the words gemilas chasadim, of uh, doing kind deeds. Again, the letters hey and chet, according to the Kabbalistic way of doing things, are interchangeable. The Rokeach states that there are 35 expressions of light that are found in the Torah. Now, what else is interesting is the word Yehudi, which means Jew, is the gematria is 35. We are called Yehudim, Jews, which comes from the word Hoda, which means thanks. Thanks to God and thanks to man. Again, may God bless us through our acts of kindness and gratitude that we merit the coming of Mashiach Sikenu quickly and in our time. I'd like to continue now with the number 36. The number 36 in Hebrew and the Ivrit is Lamid Vav. Both the Lamid and the Vav are hooks that connect heaven to earth. The number 36 is twice that of the number of the word Chai, which means life, which has a gematria of 18. So 36 alludes to two lives, one in this world and one in the next world, the world to come. And just like the double term when we say in the Torah, mos yumas, which translates to mean you shall surely die, which is an allusion to of death in this physical world and also death in the spiritual world, two deaths. Now three plus six is nine, which has a, con which has a connection to the word or, which is light which is spelled Aleph, Vav, Resh. In lowercase numbers, dropping zeros, it then has a gematria of nine. One plus six plus two, again, equals nine. There are those who say that the main theme within the number 36 is that of Or, light. Now, prior to Adam's expulsion, first man, from the Garden of Eden, from Gan Eden, he was given use of a primordial light for 36 hours. This revolved around the Shabbat, the 12 hours preceding Shabbat, followed by the 24 hours of Shabbat itself, 12 plus 24, 36. This primordial light enabled man to see the whole picture. Through this light, one was able to see the world from one end to the other. Once man had sinned by eating from the tree of knowledge, the Eitz Hadat, and brought evil into the world. God decided to hide this primordial light so that it would not be used for evil and set it aside for the use of the righteous again in the world to come. One of the symbols of the Torah were the Luchot, the two tablets on which God wrote the Ten Commandments. They were given to Moshe when he went up to Mount Sinai. It is stated in Mishle 623, Kiner mitzvah the Torah or. A mitzvah is a lamp, and Torah is light. The dimensions of these tablets were six handbreadths by six handbreadths, namely 36 square handbreadths, again 36. The last book of the written Torah, Devarim, begins with the word Ela. Ela had Devarim. Ela has a numerical value of 36. The book of Devorim is called Mishnah Torah, the review of the Torah. Moshe began, began teaching the book of Devarim on the first day of Shvat and continued for 36 days until the day of his death, which was on the seventh day of Adar. As mentioned before, there are three sections of the written Torah, Tanakh, and six orders of the Mishnah, which makes up the oral Torah. Three for, for, for Tanakh, Torah and Devi and Kusuvim, and six, again, for the six orders, three and six, 36. The holiday of Hanukkah is connected to light. We celebrate the holiday, which connects to the miracle of oil that should, should have lasted for only one day, but miraculously lasted eight days. So to commemorate this miracle, we light a candle each night during the holiday, adding one more to the total until we reach eight candles on the last night. There are therefore 36 candles that are lit in total. According to Kabbalah, these lights correspond to the 36 hours of the primordial light that Adam had when he was first created that is now concealed and waiting in the world to come. 
The Talmud in Sukkah, 45b states that in every generation, every generation there exists, Lamed Vav Tzadikim, 36 righteous individuals. These 36 Tzadikim are the pillars that the world rests upon. It is said that these individuals are not known to the public. Others say that these 36 are not only hidden from the world, but even they themselves have no idea that they are part of what we call the Lamed Vav. It follows that this group of 36 correspond to the 36 lights related to the Or Haganuz, the hidden light. Moshe told Yoshua before he died that when he, Yoshua, would conquer the land of Canaan, he should always lead the nation into battle. One time, Yoshua did not lead the army, which was at the Battle of Ai, and 36 men died in that battle, and they suffered their only defeat. According to the Ramban, the loss of 36 refers to the single death of Yair ben Menashe. He was as great as 36 judges, which constitutes the number majority of the 70 members of the Jewish Shahai Supreme Court, called the Sanhedrin. It is interesting that the name Yair means, and he will illuminate, which also relates to the symbolism of or, light. May God Almighty enlighten us to be able to see only truth in this world, and with that knowledge, help us to usher in the coming of Mashiach Tzikani quickly and in our time. Thank you very much for coming. God bless and Shabbat Shalom.